Next time it's her, we'll um, just start. The drinking bros start in this like really weird way. We just start talking. We just start talking and then I, we'll cut it in. By rule, I've always farted on first dates and just like burp Have and you really? Like, really? When you go out to dinner with a girl, like by rule, I just burp and fart on first dates because I'm just like, yeah, this is me. This is who I am. Because so otherwise, you break the burp fart barrier. Yeah, like it. You know, I like it. Just, like you just throw it out there and then I have a I have a buddy. They've been married like seven eight years. They still don't fart in front of each other. <gasps> like I don't what? get that, but I I do have a thing. Like no pooping with the door open. I was gonna ask you that next. Yeah. And, and some some people are like just pooping with the door. I'm like no, <laughs> no, like, no, like no pooping with the door open. Don't Call me a crude. Like... I don't care. But yeah. no pooping with the door. Close the door. Do you go that's to the so opposite weird. end of the house though? To oh, poop? Well, like that's where. But like so I do my pooping in my own bathroom. But, okay. Like, even even Stacy, I mean like it's right there. I'm yep. just, you know she and she would leave the door open if it was up to her. She would poop with the door open. Okay. And I'm just like, close the door. I'm sorry. This is my one thing. Yeah. Have to close the door like you have to. Is it you can fart like me all you want. Is it a keeping know. romance a little, or like a little bit of that? I don't, I don't a tiny know. bit, right? I, I don't know. I don't know. Everyone's like, different. Even, right? even like, you know, Everyone's so like, different. Like, like, I don't care about like, poop. Like, together like three years or something, like maybe yeah. two times. I'm like, I don't have to tell the people baby wipes. Like, so oh, what do you Stacey. do? I'm just like, don't look, don't look, just don't look, don't see me in this position. Wait, but bring it's me like, the thing. Yeah, 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 it's yeah, like, yeah. Don't see me. I want you to fuck me. I want you to want to like yes. look at me and want to fuck me. And when I'm, if you like see me pooping, that doesn't you give think it might change. A boner or yeah, so, <laughs> yes. yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's why when I, I have kids and had them vaginally, and I wouldn't let Ross get past. Oh sure, up here. Like, I'm like, not going to see it because I don't want. And the pooping, of course not. I don't think I. Like I probably have. Oh, I totally have. Look, they always do in the it, at night, right? Girls will always fart at I've night. I've done. There's nothing you can do about it for. On purpose? Yeah. Just like just yeah. Do you, know, you know what that is, right? What's that? It's, it's where you fart under, under the covers yeah, and yeah, you put yeah, yeah. underneath, like as a joke. <laughs> like I fart underneath. Wait, you've done that? Well, not purposely, but he was sure, like, he'd be yeah. like, did you? Well, I mean, purposely. He goes, did you fart? And I was like, yeah. And then I was like, you want to smell it? And I would like take the covers, and he's like, oh my god, no! And like now it becomes a joke, right? So I guess it kind of, you know, it all depends on what works for the relationship. Yeah. So what's Lots cool is we have Derek Wida on no. to do a full fart episode. I hope that's okay with you. You want to know the best fart of my life? I got, Please! I got, I got, I got a great, like, so it Let's was, it. I was in the army. I was in, I was in the army and I was just like, you know, like on the weekends you just fucking black out and shit. And I was, sure. you know, like, I don't know, like, I was, I was, um, the night before uh, I was with a girl and I just, I woke up in my bed and I was laying on my side. And I just, I, like, I was naked, and, like, I didn't have sheets on my bed. I was in the army. I'm like, I didn't do this shit. <laughs> I was just, like, like, a huge fart. And I thought I was alone. And then I just heard behind oh. me, like, oh, my God. <laughs> you thought you were alone? <laughs> yeah. Oh, my gosh, it's my just biggest right, fear. Just naked, naked, right on Oh, her belly. naked, too. And There's no barriers. Yeah, nope, just right on her and belly. it's just the flapping. I thought I was alone. The flapping. And it was a yeah. big one. Wait, yeah. so what'd she do? <laughs> but, well, like, that's that's the extent of it. Because, like, Look, you know, like, it's I, over when now. I realized, you, you just own that shit, like, well, that's fucking who I am. Yeah. <laughs> you know what you got into, right? Yeah. Yeah. Shut up, I'll hit you again. You know, like. <laughs> they need to know. Do you know what I mean? They need to know yeah. that. Yeah, I'm very quiet and I do. I do. Oh, that. and I do. <laughs> I do. But too. some people, I've seen it in the Broad group before, like, hey guys, do you guys fart in front of your significant others? Do you guys poop in front of them? Like, what's okay, what's not? No. You know? No. So I think it's all dependent on who the couple is and yeah. what works for them. I've definitely, like, dated no people and, like, gone to the gas station down the street. Do you know what I mean? Like, so oh, I need to, to, see, that's just I need like... to pick something up. Uh, oh, and, like, really quick and then go shit and then come back and be like, Gatorade or something like oh you needed that I, I was need like it. oh I needed so it bad. I really needed well, it well I'll tell you when it first is that good off. or bad is that weird I'm kind I of just, I just it. I won't like even like so we'll like you know like we'll be out to dinner or something Stacy's always sitting across me we'll be with like the the people that you shouldn't fart around like people sure. with money or family and stuff like <laughs> sure. that I always I am not willing to make myself uncomfortable yeah. or in pain no. for other like they're like really? oh my god did he just fart like you fart. Like, yes, All the time. Like, 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 I'm not willing to fuck in. You're like, I don't cover up my black ketchup pimples and I fart in public. <laughs> oh, like, I'm a human. Welcome. <laughs> yeah. He's a Welcome yeah. to my world. Welcome. You get my My nose hairs are too long <laughs> and I toot at dinner. I don't know what you want from me. You, know, like, you are yeah, what you need. Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah. I, like, I had some prepared uh, questions because we have never met. Yeah. Here's what I know about you. I'm happy and excited. I yeah. follow you on Instagram. Yeah. I like, like I know on Instagram. You. Yeah. Oh, uh, you party with my husband when he comes to Vegas. Yeah. I don't ask any questions. He used to take me to fights, but. Oh. oh. And now. Now he comes out. And I used to be 
Ross is plus one. Oh, <laughs> no, 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 no. what an asshole. <laughs> What happened? Yeah, what went down? Yeah. No, you two, two months ago, I had to tell Ross that I wasn't available to do a podcast for the first time. I never said no to Ross, but I got kids now, you know? And sometimes, yeah, yeah, yeah. just got to watch boys. Yeah, you got two twin boys. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Max yeah. and Jack. Which is that's definitely Jack, yeah. something like, I want to get into. You know. Cutest thing ever. But what we know about you is you're a um, pretty good-looking guy with a well-earned... Physique mm-hmm. and one leg. Is there more to you than that? Not really. <laughs> <laughs> no, Fighting. Yeah, like yeah, yeah, yeah. No, it's just no. I'm, no, it's yeah. That's that's about it. Like if I wasn't missing a leg, I'd eleven k followers top. Maybe eleven point seven k. You really followers. think it's yeah. the cloud oh, the leg, <laughs> yeah. the leg ads. He's like, this leg like, gets yeah. all I know, and like mm-hmm. I haven't like gained followers in probably like two years, so I'm uh, talking to my doctors about cutting my other leg off. <laughs> you know, like doc. Business is slowing down. Hey, bro, they're, not, they're not impressed anymore. I don't know, like you know, can you take a can you take below the knee on this one? The life yeah. of an Instagram influencer. Wow, yeah, it's like getting things, just worse the and worse. Things I'm willing to do yeah. to pay my rent. You know? Oh yeah. my god! <laughs> now look, well, yeah. I do follow him on Instagram, and I will yeah. say, so you're very. I mean, it's very obvious. You're funny. You work out, but one thing I like too that you do is you have like these heartfelt posts. Sometimes, like you're very real. On there, and you, you, there's no filter. You just say it like it is. Do you guys have all your stuff on? Yeah. Yep. Do you have your thing on? No. Up. Oh. It hasn't been recording the whole time. It's been recording. It just be quiet. Okay. Sorry. Yeah. I'm, I'm no, louder no. now. It's okay. We took it off. It's like yeah. louder yeah. now. Yeah. Turned on. Yeah. Um, but I feel like so many people see these things, and they can really relate to what you're saying. Whether you're going through a hard time, you having thoughts, PTSD, any of that sort. Why do you share that, and do you get a lot of comments and a lot of people hitting you up saying thank you? Um, like honestly, my social media is really just like a diary. Like sometimes yeah. when it, like you know, yeah, it's, yeah. A, it's a you know, it was actually here. Um, like I don't know, maybe like a year ago, I fucking posted something. It was like some feelings I was having. I was like sad or something like that. And somebody came in to the comments and was like, "All you people don't realize Derek only does this for this reason." He, he like he you know he's feeling sad and he makes this post and he just does this post to feel better and mm-hmm. i was like yes because yeah. like sometimes like fucking instead of like when you are when you have these like sad feelings or yeah. negative feelings the worst thing the, the what makes it worse is keeping that shit inside yeah and so like sometimes yeah. just sharing stuff with the world it doesn't it just it's just about like saying something like here uh, world i'm sad yeah, yeah, that's it, what I try to do. It fucking feels so fucking like good, and like that's that's that's, 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 that's sort of, step one to yeah. getting over that yeah. thing. Like you fucking own it, and I don't know. Like as a dude, I suppose it's maybe it's not typical, but mm-hmm. I see yeah. other people. I think it's I think it's cool to be a manly man and like you know like be cool with violence and aggression and stuff like that. But every motherfucker gets sad. Everybody has the yeah. same feelings. We're not different, and so I, I don't like. There's literally nothing that's special about me or unique, except maybe sometimes my ability to just I just don't care. I'm yeah, not really? I'm not ashamed or embarrassed to be like I'm sad today. Yeah, <laughs> you know, like I know. It is. You're I'm, like, I'm still play gonna play a sad song. Yeah, another, like, like, yeah, you know, it's like, and, and you'll just, play it up even more, like little you know. emo boy. Yeah, <laughs> little emo. But I was, oh, I was, no. a, I was an emo teen. I was Were an emo you? boy. Yeah. Were you? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Right. Like, wait, did you have the yeah. long hair, like long dark hair? Did you wear eyeliner and all that stuff? Like, um, how far did you go? Look? Yeah. I mean, my parents like I, um, they wouldn't let me do that too much um but like in like fifth sixth grade like i used to like paint my face you remember like sting from wcw yeah used to do the sting and just sit in my room with my fucking oh, strobe so light yeah, oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah yeah listen yeah. to the prodigy with my strobe light on in ask, my room like, by myself like uh, yeah what did you listen yeah. to like what was your jam Mac yeah. my bitch <laughs> yeah mm-hmm. yeah breathe by the prodigy when that came out and <laughs> oh like my God. yeah I, I went from uh like missy elliott to marilyn manson real <laughs> fast you know like oh, it was shit. just life-changing for me yeah I uh well, I taught on on Ross Patterson Revolution. I introduced Ross to Rammstein. Mm-hmm. You know Rammstein? Oh, what? yes. Like recently, he didn't know. He did Ram- not know. Oh and he my was god! Making me feel so. I was on the Deesh. podcast. Do do ha do ha snus. That's very emo, yeah. right? So you would sit in your room and is that emo? Oh yeah, because yeah. like the video. Oh, it's feely. Yeah, it's feely. Yeah. yeah. Very. Um, do you I know like who Three Teeth is? 
No. So it's no. like it's like they're industrial metal too, like okay. stuff like that. But it's like modern day stuff. And actually, Stacy went to um, like middle school with the drummer of that band, Three Teeth. Wow. It's the number three teeth. It's so fucking good. Okay, I need to look them up now. Because I still love that it's stuff. It's industrial yeah. metal. If you don't like metal music, but you like like the fucking yeah, Three the Teeth, feels? you'll love Three yeah. Teeth. You can't yeah, can't not like it. Yeah. I can't believe Ross didn't know who that was. Like, Isn't that crazy? Popular back in two thousand eight. Yeah. Well, you know, like, Ross uh, is really young, so he's probably too young for <laughs> yeah. it. You think? Don't you think, Jared? He's too young. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Something Ross yeah. Would totally, yeah. totally say. Well, I think one thing people do love is you are relatable, obviously online. And I, you know, one thing I love too is his, uh, like your fitness journey. Like I look at you, I'm like, shit, I need to get in shape, man. Like you inspire I think that's, me. That's basically like, what it is, right? You're very inspiring yeah. in that you're like, if I can fucking do it, get off your fucking yeah. ass, yeah. right? And that's mostly what you kind of. You, you know, you know the, the funny thing about that is like when people say that I get sort of uncomfortable. Like, yeah, I, don't about, like I don't care about other like I don't care. It's not that I don't care about other like I am literally like I am just living my life yeah, because yeah, yeah. that's how I live my life. Yeah. I'm not here to be inspiring or something else. Yeah. And I think that like, you know, maybe I'm missing my leg now. And, you know, but like if you got your leg fucking amputated, would you just throw in the towel or would you still continue to I live your know, life? Though. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. But, but like can, a, yeah. like nine, nine out of ten amputees, like it's it, it's yeah, it's like eight out of ten or nine out of ten. Don't even wear a prosthetic limb because it's so uncomfortable and painful. Really? And yeah. it, it is awful. It's fucking you'll awful. talk about that on, on <laughs> social media, too. Of just yeah, like, bro, it's, like, like, it's this fucking is not awful. Fucking cool. But you know, Stacy will tell me that from time to time. She's like, she's like, Derek, you don't tell people like actually how hard it is. Yeah. And I was like, well, because I just I don't complain. You mean like, where yes, yes, it sucks. Like, yeah, true. it sucks. It's awful. Yeah, and, yeah, yeah. But it, you know, like the the relatable thing, you know, I I don't know, like being an amputee is fucking horrible. But yeah. I, I don't know. I'm not dead yet, so I just, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that was a good like, way to look at yeah, it, though. Like, yeah, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. shit, yeah. it could be worse. Yeah, it's, yeah. It's funny. Yeah. So. Well, I think people look at the leg too and go, "Listen, he's doing all this still with missing one leg. So what fucking excuse do I have right now? Yeah. Like, I have both legs. This guy's still crushing it. I think that's the main thing. Yeah. Um, Is what's inspiring. Um, I'm more fascinated with. I hope you can talk about this. Or that I don't offend you, but you're always in such good shape. And there was a second where you like weren't. Can you tell? So me, like, like like last I year think for me, it's more in, like I gain. I'm like yo yo and yeah. stuff too. So it's interesting to me to hear when someone that is in that good shape, like some what happens if you can talk about it. Absolutely, because okay. I actually gained all that weight on purpose, on and purpose? it was it was fucking awful. So people don't understand. Like yeah, it's such a funny thing. So like I. What so yeah, yeah yeah okay, so go. i i um when i first became an amputee um a goal i wrote down some goals and one of my goals was to do a 500 pound deadlift and um okay. i and it's like so going back november 2017 i won a big crossfit competition and i took like three four months off from fitness and i was just, like I drinking a lot writing yeah. music and i gained like five ten pounds i was like hey Maybe now is the right time for me to pursue this goal of a 500 pound deadlift. I was oh, like, I go. have to gain weight, and okay. so I gained like 45, 50 pounds. Oh yeah, because you went into powerlifting, right? And it was, right? and it was the or right time because Stacy was pregnant and stuff. So like, I perfect. went into powerlifting, and I was like, dude, it was awful. So, but it's funny because people see pictures of that. Yeah. And like, I would post pictures, and I gained a lot of weight. I was, I was like fat, but I was powerlifting. Right, right. I had but a power lifter physique. Yeah, I was yeah. I was really fucking strong and people were like, relatable man, I fucking quit on my That's fitness too. I'm like, no, I'm like, like, I didn't quit. quit. Like, too. you know, like, it's oh. Yeah, and he's so, going through something too. Yeah, I was like oh good. No, so like you know, actually gaining like that was that was hard for me, but it was it was awesome and it was like it it helped me grow uh, so much like um but that in itself was hard because it'd be like nine o'clock at night and I, w- I would have to eat, 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 eat yeah, yeah, to gain wow. that weight. And I remember like sitting there trying to eat my food and it would be like my meal at night was like a pound of ground beef and two packs of ramen. And like two hours ago, I just ate a big ass fucking skillet. So I'd be sitting there. Hungry, I can't breathe. Yeah. I'm fucking sweating. And I would look over and be like, Stacy, Stacy, like- I can't, I can't finish this. And she'd be like, you have to. I was like, you're right. Wow. So I'd finish my, so Holy like, yeah, shit. I got fat on purpose, but people don't That's understand crazy. that. No. Yeah. Yeah, no, I did not know that. I yeah. love that. Yeah. Uh, was it so uncomfortable? It was awful. Because like, was awful. I'm so used how was your to, joints? Well, like, like dude, honestly, see. like, I felt like power, like fitness wise, I felt great. Okay. Right? okay. I just felt strong. Okay. You know, okay. but like in the morning, I fucking like, I couldn't put my sock on. Yeah. Or I would yeah. wake and like at, at night, I would like snore louder and I'd have trouble breathing. Oh, wow. I'm not, I'm a conditioning person. Like mm-hmm. my, everybody has a, everybody has a 
a body that's geared for a certain type of fitness. Yeah. But, uh, and, and so I'm like a conditioning guy. I like to go far, go fast. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it was the one time in my life and it was just good timing because Stacy was pregnant. Perfect. And so I was like, well, I, was gonna ask I can be fat and unattractive too. You know, <laughs> <Yeah>. like, <laughs> she must have loved, I really, you do gain sympathy weight. She right? hated my powerlifting bit. phase. She hated, Why? she didn't you like eat it. So much or I don't, what? I don't know. She didn't like it. It was kind of like a monotone sport oh, for okay, her okay, and okay. stuff like Ruby's that. Yeah. Like, mm-hmm. Like, uh, yeah. Yeah. yeah, I could see. That. I mean, the thing is, too, people always look at a physique, right, and go, "You're in shape or you're out of shape." But in this case, you were hitting records. Yeah, you just didn't look the part. Right. Yeah. Right? And like, yeah. And like, uh, um, what I was, yeah. So, it's it's really weird being an amputee athlete. It, I don't know. It's it's um, the amount of time and work I put in mm-hmm. for this stuff, but it all means nothing because <laughs> I can't pay my rent off yeah, of yeah, win, yeah. you know, like people sure. people like me, people who compete. Or people who train as much as me and compete like me, they pay their rent by winning competitions. Oh, okay. But there's no fucking competition. Oh, okay. There's no world record. So I actually, I did a powerlifting meet, and pound for pound, I had like easily like every and with everything, I had the best performance of Damn, the day. Good for you. But I did, like I was the only motherfucker to leave without a medal. Like there, it is such That's a, amazing. but it's such a cool. It makes you so yeah, mentally yeah, yeah. fucking tough because mm. you have to like do all of this for nothing except because you want to do it. So Jesus. it just forces you to be, it's, you know, it's weird. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, with the beginning, <laughs> so we're just starting off the year, right? We're in 2020. You know, a lot of people I'm sure have a new year's resolution of losing weight or mm-hmm. getting back in shape. So what are, what are some things and advice that you can give people that like, I mean, you gained weight and now you've lost it. Yeah. And you're back in shape. So what are some big things that you give your clients or other people? So, you know, so actually, so I, I probably, I think I lost, um, I think I lost like 40, 45 pounds in like three months. Wow. And it was wow. so easy. It's oh my god! Oh my god! I want to so stop you, kind of, for saying that. Yeah, so like, fucking easy. It's easy, guys. And, it's and fun. People, no, pe- you do have some pretty like when I watch your videos, like you do have some pretty simple like just don't fucking you know what I mean? You know, people ask me they're like, and and and, and I've been. You know, over I've been um, on the internet doing fitness things for like five, six years, mm-hmm. and I've gone through phases and stuff. And I think now in 2020, like I'm just I'm tired of not saying what I believe and like how mm-hmm. I feel. Yeah, you know, because yeah, yeah. I like I've been nice to people over the years. Yeah, but yeah, it's yeah. Like, Come on, like it's, so. But you know, so I lost weight, and and actually, it was like three, four months ago. A, a girl at the CrossFit gym, she was like, "Hey." I saw that you lost weight. Like, what did you do? Because I'm trying to do that. And I really, like, now I just say to people, I'm like, hey, you know all those things you know you need to do? Mm-hmm. do I them. do them. Yeah. I do them. And I don't fucking cheat. Like, yeah. it's fucking easy. It's just like the thing, everybody knows how to be healthy. I know. It's just so the fucking matter of doing it. And so that's pill. what, you know, it's like, so like, what did you do? I was like, do you, you know all those things you know you need to do? I did them. I do them. Just and it's them. fucking easy. I got for, up at this time. And it's, I went and it's to the gym, easy I for me now, things. but I'm like older and patient. Like in my 20s, I was like up and down like yeah. a roller coaster, like a fucking person in their 20s. Yeah, you yeah, know, yeah. I was like, oh shit, I don't know how to pay my rent. I better b- fucking eat two frozen pizzas. This is how I handle know. my problems. Yeah. yeah. But you yeah. know when you're doing it, yeah. what you're not supposed to do, right? Yeah. So what a great just like way to not shut it down, but a good way to start it. Because when you say that right now, I'm like, Dude, I know all the things that I'm not supposed to do. Yeah. But you also have a cooking show and you also I like know I love that yeah. show. To eat, right? Yeah. So I mean, let's be honest. I, 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 like one of my big secrets and or something I've learned, you know what people forget about is time. Mm. People don't like there's yeah, a yeah, fucking yeah. necessary ingredient I in know. fitness and it's time. I know. And you just be patient. So actually like um and and still um so when I was losing the weight, yeah. it's like okay, it's like all right, I'm done with powerlifting, it's time to lose weight. I would diet. I'd, I'd change my diet and eat good for a week and work out. And I look in the mirror on Monday. I'm like, why am I still fat? I mm-hmm. just worked my fucking ass off. Why am I still fat? That's and problem. you get those Everything. overwhelming. Yeah. You get those overwhelming feelings, yep. and you're like, fuck this shit. I quit. Yeah, Pizza. it's like no beer. Just fucking like. It's you, not, I don't see my abs yet. And it's like Derek, you know better. Just be patient. Just keep doing every day. Just keep doing the thing you know you need to do. And then you have to wait for time. You can't fucking like time is the time is the bitch. Well, we live in a society yeah. where everyone wants instant gratification. Yep. No, like yep. I ate a piece of kale. I did one crunch today. Like yep. where are my abs mm-hmm. at? Like, well, yeah. well they're, yeah. they're not there. To me. But it's, it's been so I think and this is a huge thing for me. So now I'm getting back into training. I'll do competitions this year and I don't. 
like, like CrossFit. It's, it's a, yeah. So, but it, and it's liberating because like I, there's no pressure. Yeah. Because it's just like oh, all I have to do is do what I know I need to do, and time will sort itself, and time will figure out you the just rest. Keep sure. doing it. Yeah. Like yeah. there's no way I can lose if all I do is, and I don't worry about the things down the road because it's just like I have patience now. That is a beautiful thing. Oh. Yeah. That is a beautiful thing. Especially like, as we get older. When you have when you when you have patience. It's Ugh, you're de- you're deadly. You're dangerous, dude. You how know? liberating! You're right. Yeah, because yeah. you're just not stressed secret. anymore. It's like, hey, I like. So I have a I have a I have a very big competition in November. Don't even care about it because, like, by the time, by then, yeah, yeah like, I'm just good to go. Like, there's as nothing. Long as you just keep yep, doing because I don't. Doing. And and as an athlete for the longest time, like I screwed up in the early years, like 2015, 2016. I wasn't as good as I wanted to be because I was. I was I hated myself so much because it's like say it was January now, and I had a competition in November. If I wasn't ready for You're that competition today, now. every yeah, yeah, day, yeah, yeah. I'm like, yeah. why do I suck? Why am I awful? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like, oh no, I'm not supposed to be that good in shape yeah. yet, you know. But I'll be there, you know. That sounds so stressful too. Doing that, do you yeah. think that stress kind but of holds that's why on people to... fucking lose yeah. at fitness is because yeah. they're stressed because yeah. they just they don't have the patience and it's you know. But it is t- you know. So it's funny because. So if something's difficult for me and I've been doing this my whole life and this is my fucking niche and this is what I love, if something's difficult for me, it's times 10 for an average person. And I say average, like if their life isn't fitness, if it's difficult for me and I'm having to overcome myself in order to accomplish these things. How would you expect yeah. a, 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 a normal person to? Because yeah, you know so, from yeah. Stacy, like when you have kids and especially as a mom, like finding the actual time, time now? to do it. Um, I mean, you have kids too. Yeah. I see. I was going to ask you. I worked mean? with fatherhood. Yeah, yeah. You have twin. Like you don't have just one kid. You had twins. Yeah. And now you're still mm-hmm. maintaining and doing all this. Yeah. So I, you know, yeah, it's um actual. So we um, you know, what's funny is when the boys were born January 10th. I think I I started a prep the following Monday. I started a powerlifting prep on January 13th, but it was only fucking 60 minutes three times a week. Powerlifting is pretty okay, easy. It's yeah. not much training. So perfect. But I, yeah, but that I had, you can do, but I had to pull out of the competition because things were like, just like three weeks before the competition, I had to pull out cause things were just too stressful around the house. Yeah. And yeah, stuff. yeah. Yeah. We had a plan, but like dude, twins will fucking, Oh my gosh. <laughs> you, I know, I you can have whatever fucking plan you want when, when, when God throws twins in there or whatever the Jesus. fuck he's like, Hey, Fuck us, you know. Holy shit! Yeah. Now, did you guys yeah. choose to pick twins out? Was the doctors like, "Hey, you have the opportunity to have twins. Let's do it." Because my husband and I might be going down this path of IUIs or IVF yeah. eventually. Transfer told- one, transfer one, See, transfer. So, I'm like, because here's here's what we were fucking this close to having triplets. So what's happened? Oh. What happened with us is so we did the whole IVF thing, you know. Yeah. We transferred a boy and a girl. Yeah. And we got two boys. And so, and the boys are, so it was just like weird. And actually it was only like three months ago we found out that the boys are identical. So there was a super, there was like less than a 4% chance of what happened happening. So we transferred a boy and the girl, the girl didn't catch and the boys split in the first couple days. So we had, we had twin, we have identical twin boys, but they each had their own placenta in their own sack. So that's super, and you know, people on the internet, they'd be like, are those boys identical? It's like, we don't know yet. It's like, well, yeah. did they each have their own placenta? Like, yeah, then they're not identical. Actually, bitch. Yeah. You know, like, you don't, people, like, it's people fucking. People know so much. Nature, oh, yeah. Because yeah, everyone yeah. on the internet is doctors. Yeah. And so they are identical. So did and, they eat the girl in the world? Well, like, we don't know. <laughs> like, okay. I don't, you know, but. Because I do know twins that, like, they were triplets. Yeah. One of them got yeah. all the nutrients. Got a little hungry. Yeah. yeah. Like, yeah. yeah but, one. so th- we were that close to having triplets. Oh, my. Eeny, meeny, miny, you're fucking gone. Yeah, like, sorry, yeah. bro. Yeah. One of them's yeah. getting fucked yeah. up, yeah. up, right? Yeah. The girl, one of them's gonna be the in gr- jail. The girl didn't make it. Sheep. She, uh, you know, yeah. Oh my <laughs> god. She, like, like we had a miscarriage at, um, you know, uh, she was seven weeks old. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, just kidding. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah. Well, and we want to do. We want to put in too. Yeah. I, I want twins, and a lot of people you look do? at. I do. Let me. Let me. Let me. Do you know what you're asking for, honey? Because like, do you want twins in theory, or do you want to be? I'll tell like so. I'll Not tell you. I'll theory, tell you this. Like, it you can't. Um, here's here, here's what I know. Like, but I want to hear more from you because you might change my mind. Uh, this is what I've gathered. I, you know, I'm not an expert on the subject or something like that. You but like went, one baby at a time, a mom. Oh, the woman tends to be able to handle most of that shit by herself, and like yeah. the dad gets up, goes to work, and things like that. Twins, nope. Where the dad's Twins. traveling with and you, so going Stace, to fight. Yeah, yeah, so it's... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know, 
know so what I mean? like we, <laughs> we we had it pretty nice it's like so i you know stacy got out of the air force so she wasn't working and i worked from home mm-hmm. and so like i was able to be there and be around quite a lot and then at six weeks you know we we, we have we've had a nanny since the boys were about four months old to, and okay. that's fucking game changer you like have to. yeah because uh, it takes because so my point is it takes three people to raise twins yes. wow it, yeah yeah <laughs> but like and so like you know since i've had kids some dads will try to relate to me like oh yeah dude i fucking you know like yeah the nights were tough i would wake up and hand the baby to my wife so she could breastfeed I'm like bitch not the same because we, yeah. we did shifts like we had to do we did shifts it was to. like i was 10 to 3 and like I would sit there and double feed the babies and then Stacy would do like three to nine ish or 10 or so whenever yeah. I got home from my first workout. And yeah. So if you like people are like, I want twins. I'm like in theory or in practice. It, it wasn't something that I yeah. thought of like my whole life. Yeah. But as I've gotten older, I thought to myself too, cause we're in our thirties and we've mm-hmm. been trying for a while. Sure. And so this is like kind of something I want to get into with you. Cause I know that we talked on episode five a little bit about like my miscarriage or like just my, our journey, our journey of trying to have kids. And a lot of people really relate it to it. Yeah. And so I think it'll probably be helpful to hear from you who's yeah. been through it all as well. And so to me, I'm kind of like, well, you know what? I don't know how much time or it would be cool if we can just kind of have two yeah. and just kind of have that done. And we don't, and I can yeah. maybe continue on it's, my military career yeah. too later yeah. on. You right? know, like, dude, it, uh, like, I guess I, I'm not, I shouldn't shit talk. It does sound just, good in theory. Yeah, don't get but, me wrong. And maybe like, now they have happens. best friends and shit and like, it's hard, but it's not not doable yeah it's 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 just a lot, a lot of work yeah people do but, it all the time yeah, I mean, my mom would yeah. i mean my mom even said too she's like i would totally like move out there if like, you want to be with you guys yeah. well, like that mm-hmm. is huge and my too, mom you know? moved right behind us yeah. went in the same month the boys were born so we had a lot of help be her and first stuff. grandkids yeah. and she yeah. would be there yeah. so how did that whole journey start for you guys um if you don't mind me asking about kids and going down the IVF route and everything so it's just like i was um stacy and i met and i think i was like 30 years old I never wanted to like, m- like my whole life plan. I never wanted to get married or have kids or anything uh-huh. like sure. that, you know? Um, you were 30. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Which no, women, women no. or like, I, I just, I just, yeah. I just wanted to be in the army my whole life, you know? <laughs> yeah, like, yeah, yeah. I'm not gay. I just wanted to be around dudes, you know? Yeah, totally not gay. <laughs> 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 I just no. never wanted to marry a girl. Yeah, no. So it all, sta- it <laughs> all, it, yeah. It all started like Stacy and I met and she was, she was like, in her 30s too and it was it was very early in our like we've known each other like a month or two and she's like hey i want to have kids Mm -hmm. and like like no shit like the real the real story i was like yeah i could probably do that i was like whether this works out or not i can afford child support so like i'll help you (laughs) with your fucking endeavor to have children me myself personally myself personally i don't want kids but like she's like this is like yeah i got sperm i can help you with that (laughs) like probably you know so it's weirdly romantic i know you're not saying (laughs) but like the guy that never wants kids is like I'll do it. Sure. It, it, my, yeah. In, in my head, I was like, oh, shit. Fuck. And I'll take yeah, care okay. of you. Yeah. Yeah. And so, but, you know, so it's actually, so that's how it started. And then her and I, you know, like dated and, 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 um, you know, fell in love and then got married. And then the, like, but we had trouble. I think yeah. we went through like 18 months of like, okay, we'll try to have kids and we couldn't have kids, you know? Yeah. And in the beginning, like, I didn't give a shit. Mm-hmm. But like, like as time ahead. went on and like this, like she, and she was getting sad about it. Yeah. I was like, Ooh, this is starting to fuck me up a little mm-hmm. bit. And then I started getting sad about Aww. it, you know? Yeah, yeah. And so we started, you know, so it was just like, it was that. And then um, we just um, finally started like fertility testing. Like she got tested and I got tested and stuff. And and um, it turned out that uh, she just had a couple of like complications. And actually we could have had kids naturally. Yeah. Really? It would have just been like, we were fighting the odds there. And so it's like, why not? Like yeah and so and like yeah. ivf was a super aggressive move yeah. but it's just like we fu- like ivf bypassed the fucking one issue we had and it was yeah. just oh, okay. so we, so we just went for it you know because yeah. most people will not go to that right yeah that. and so and like the doctor it's really like expensive yeah it was it, super <laughs> super expensive but it you can finance it it's a why. shitty car it's a fucking <laughs> yeah, 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 it's exactly. a ford fiesta <laughs> all right yeah, like yeah 20k 25 26k that's a fiesta yeah yeah it's a fucking Ford Fiesta. That's, that's like yeah. my Ford Explorer. It's like a black yeah. one. The red ones are cheaper. You can uh, finance that shit. Yeah, yeah so. I love that. And it's a kid, so yeah. it's worth it. No, it's so, true. But that's not n- mainly like the route. You know, people try like other things or pills, right? Yeah. Um, IUIs. I think one of my girlfriends did that. 
yeah interuterine insemination but that's like the like not a full commitment Correct. type thing you like if you want to go full commitment you just go IVF just go IVF just, okay. yeah you just go like IVF, if you want like, it to happen IUI is sort of like the fucking turkey baster yeah, I think so. Yeah, like, where they oh, take up the like, puss, yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, they we take hope. the man sperm. So the problem is with yeah. us is that her husband is in, you know, he's special forces. So is mine. Mm-hmm. So they're gone a lot. Sure. And so for her, she just had her husband freeze a sperm. Yeah. Right. And so mine's about to deploy here in June. Yeah. For like I eight nine months. Sure. So if we if he freezes it at the sperm bank. We can still keep trying to get pregnant. It's sure. fucked up as that might sound when no, him, that's him not really being there. Have you guys both done the fertility testing? Or? We have, and there's nothing wrong. Really? Yeah. So they just don't have any time together. Do you know what I mean? Like Where the it's biggest like, if you thing. Just have a week. Every yeah. Blah blah blah. Like, yeah. Like so, your window is, of course, as a woman, is super small. Yeah. You right? know what? So that's it's like twenty four. So hours. I was thir- like you're like I was thirty two years old when I learned that ovulation was a thing at all. I didn't right. fucking know. I didn't fucking know. You sure. know how much sort of stress, like it, it, in my 20s, I, yeah, you yeah. know, I grew up in the school. So they're like, if you have unprotected sex, you're going to get herpes and a girl pregnant. It's like, <laughs> turns happen. out it's really fucking hard to get pregnant. And so That's like we figured the out. wild shit is. And so yeah. like Stacy and I had the fertility issues and, and like, I don't give a shit. I'm not in, ashamed or embarrassed to say anything. And I was like, oh, yeah, we're yeah. having trouble having kids. We're going the IVF route. People are like, you're so strong. I'm like, no, we're not. I'm just telling it's you we just, we just like literally yeah, don't yeah, give yeah, a yeah. shit and like but every people like start coming out of the woodwork and you realize how prevalent this shit is yeah. but nobody talks about it I'm like why because some people cares? feel ashamed it because it's like it's you fine. know but it's not it's not a shameful yeah. thing it just is what it is and like yeah. what a time to be alive because we've hacked the system I know that's it's great. true like, oh, and that's what we talk about like, it um, on our show, we did like the miscarriage <laughs> episode mm-hmm. just because yeah. that's one thing to take yeah. the stigma away because as a woman, you feel like you did something wrong. Oh, so I'm sure yeah. like yeah. as no. a guy, you're like, if I can't get a girl pregnant, I feel fucking, yeah. you know, whatever. Literally like, never even like, and I don't think that way, but I, most people do. Exactly. Cause, I, Cause like, and the, the miscarriage thing, people don't talk about that, but you're like, m- like you talk, like you, if you're like. If you're a woman, you're like, oh, yeah. I've had a miscarriage. Then you so get all these people women. coming out like, I've had five. You're like, well, why don't you talk about it? That's yeah. what but it's shameful. Me. Like, no, it's not. Yeah. Yeah. It's fucking called being alive. Yeah. You yeah. know, like yeah. nature is a wild beast, yeah. you know, but it's just a, age, age yeah. is a fickle little yeah. bitch. Yeah. So it's, yeah, it's, it's just funny. Like we were, we were open and we kind of like shared our IVF process and stuff and we weren't being strong mm. doing it it's just like this is just how shit is you're just accepting of it i guess or mm-hmm. something like that you yeah know? take on the first time yeah we got so like su- we're super I know some people have to go through multiple you guys were super really lucky, lucky but i'll it. tell you i'll tell you what like you know when if, if if you have fertility issues and you're going the ivf route that is not the time to pinch pennies yeah like people yeah, will yeah, try yeah, to yeah, like yeah. find an affordable mm-hmm. a more affordable option and people like inject like 15 embryos but maybe like none of them are viable because they haven't been tested so there's like the oh, pgs wow. testing okay. and pg pgd know. and stuff like that yeah, yeah. so that yeah you have to test your embryo so our process for, i know yeah yes. and so don't our, fuck around when you're trying to have a kid yeah <laughs> it is not the time to pinch yeah, pennies yeah. you know so we did the most expensive one and we're not fucking rich people it's just like hey for this it's worth Let's it. Just it's going to cost you more yeah. in the long run if mm-hmm. you keep having to do it. Or you're right? just like your your chances are more, your chances are better the more money you put into it. So mm-hmm. for us, it was like you know, it's like we did the, you know, sh- they took her, you know, we we pumped her up, we grew her fucking eggs, took out the eggs, put them with my sperm. We started with 15 embryos, and then they fucking grew them to day five, and wow. then we were down to like seven embryos and then they send them off for testing and they do genetic testing mm-hmm. and so i think at the end we had four or five viable embryos and that means and cool. and they rank them you know they do yeah and so they rank them and like here's the here's the chances of this one being successful and yeah. stuff like that and that's like this the, one's going to jail and so, this yeah <laughs> yeah like yeah this is your doctor yeah, 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 right yeah, here yeah. so you, you have, have a doctor yeah. and you this got one's asian yeah. like <laughs> fucking put Whoa, it in what the Put it in, put it in, because I don't know my Wi-Fi password anymore. Like I just, you know, like just put it we, in, need, put it in. we need we need IT need help around the house. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. <laughs> that's um, great. But that's good so though. They, they rate them, <laughs> like, and then you, you put the best, or you put the three best in. You guys did. Well, we put we put two in. You we put, put two in. Okay, and put a boy and a girl. And yeah. Mm-hmm. Now, do the doctors yeah. recommend how many to put in? Because I've read things before. So the the thing is, is like the like you, you um if a if an embryo is going to catch, it's going to catch. Okay. So putting one in, 
It, it doesn't increase your chances. It really does. If an embryo is going to catch, it's going to catch. And they like puff up your uterus pouch and stuff. Yeah, you know, yeah. Get that, get oh that puffy God. puss. You know? <laughs> <laughs> you know? You know so like, much yeah. about women. Yeah. Yeah. And our get over that, get that, anatomy. Get that puffy puff. Get that yeah. fucking puffy puff. <laughs> so, yeah, like, I guess, you know, <laughs> like, and that's the thing. Like, some, some people, like, They'll do IVF, but they um they don't go through all the screenings and the mm-hmm. tests of the embryos, and they just like I, I've met people that have put like transferred eight embryos at once, five embryos at once, yeah. and none of them catch because none of them are viable. So the oh, thing okay. is like, oh fuck, like you in and so where we went to IVF is like they'll keep transferring with no additional cost until you're pregnant. You know, really? so it's like you don't have to put two in at a time yeah, and yeah, things yeah. like that. You just want to do one at a time. It doesn't increase. But they'll like, transfer again for the same. Mm-hmm. Like, yeah, yeah. Because so, I haven't really heard of pregnant. that. Yeah. Because for some reason, I feel like I've read it. Because we're at Fort by Fort. We're at Fort Bragg, mm-hmm. so they have a big fertility treatment center there, right? And so stuff that I've read is these ladies are paying, and there's one doctor there who only only recommends doing one, mm-hmm. only putting one embryo, no matter what, and because uh, he he's just afraid of actually you getting twins and he doesn't apparently he's against that or something that doc that doctor death to twins yeah. <laughs> like, i don't know like, no, he's really against it apparently yeah. it's like a doctor thing like he's just against giving ladies like twins or like triplets i mean i'm against like that. twins too and but... issues so am i that could happen with it <laughs> no, oh just... my god i feel <laughs> you <laughs> brother <laughs> <laughs> but uh no it's one of those things and i guess if you do it again if you transfer again it costs some more money yeah so I guess it depends on the treatment different... center. Yeah. It, was, it, was part of, it, was, it was part of our deal. That's a good just deal. Like we, we, went to, we went to Red Rock Fertility here. Yeah. And it was like, you know, Stacy does those things where she reviews, reads reviews on the internet. And like this, our doctor was Dr. Lippman. And she's just like one of the best in town. So we literally like went one of the most expensive routes. But out here, like right? I said, what happened? Yeah. It was like first yeah. time. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Or yep. It's like she, she's like, you know, like over 70% success rate on the first time and things wow. like that. Yeah. Well, so now let me ask you this. Now that you have the boys and they're a year old, right? Now are you sitting there going like, oh, I'm so glad I didn't. Like, I'm so glad we did have the twins. Like, I love them both so much. Oh, I don't even Obviously. think about it. I love my life okay, and I, I love the boys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, I don't even give like, a shit. It's just like, like no, yeah. It's whatever. You get yeah. through it, right? You always mm-hmm. get through it. Yeah. But he's just saying no, that I know. it was fucking Yeah, it's just, I just like tell people like know what you're asking for because or just know what you're asking for. It's just tough. Just know what you're yeah. asking mm-hmm. for. Yeah. And uh, Can I take a pee break? Oh, please. Yeah. Okay. yeah. All day long. <laughs> please. We'll just talk about you while you're gone. <laughs> we'll just talk about you behind, <laughs> behind your back. Your back. But here's the thing. So in his situation that worked out with him, right? Yeah. He had a boy and a girl put in and he had two boys. If I had a situation turn out that way, I would not be disappointed. Yeah. What do you mean? Instead because, of a boy and girl? Okay. So I wouldn't mind having a boy and a girl. If I could choose a perfect situation to happen, oh, sure, I sure. would like a boy and a girl. If for some reason it had to go to either two girls or two boys, I would p- I would pick two boys. Well, I wanted boys. Like you did want two. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like I have no desire even now. You know, people that keep trying. Yeah, which is totally fine. There's people that just want a girl, right? Um, I just never did. I didn't hope for either one, but like first, when you have a boy, it just is easier to have another one. Yeah, you just like you use all the same stuff. You're like all the you know. You know what you're sure. getting into. I'm also a girl, so I know that girls are very emotional. Oh, my gosh. That's... And I don't deal with that very well, just uh-huh. even with friends. So I don't know how I would deal. Obviously, you work it out, right? Absolutely. But I don't know how I would have dealt with it. Like a 13. If I think about right now, a 13 year old girl. I know. That oh, is I was my daughter. I was a bitch. I was just. I, that's the I thing. I was just really. I think to myself. Moody. If, if I get a mini Tiffany. I, I'm going to be such a miserable mom. Oh my God, mom. I would kill myself. A mom, like, I'm going to be driven up the wall. I'm going to be insane. Like, myself. I'm going to have this girl sneaking so out of the house. we're talking about, Derek, that uh, you had two boys. Yeah, you I had two boys. I have two boys. I'm happy with it because I think about, I mean, girls are great. Girl, yeah. But, but I think about right now having a 13-year-old girl that's what, you as know, my daughter. Because we're crazy. I mean, we have so many emotions. We have hormones. We're like, it's just... I heard girls are real hard. <laughs> easier when they're babies, but we're worse mentally. when we get older. Whereas boys are kind of like yes. rambunctious and wild when they're younger, but better when they're older. So right? I was, it was like, we were going to transfer. We tra- we thought we transferred a girl. So I yeah. had like yes. mentally prepared to have <laughs> a girl. And so it's like, and I don't care. Like I'm a realist. This was the scenario yep. in my head. I was like, I have to be okay with this. 15 year old daughter. She comes home crying. <laughs> what's, what's wrong, baby? 
I sucked Johnny's dick, and he took a video yep, and shared yep. it with his friends. Oh, like, my God. whoa, fuck. <sighs> All right, well, like, did you do a good job? You know, because, like, first and foremost, like, we got to we gotta protect it? your image and your reputation. You <laughs> yeah, know, like... Yeah, yeah. listen, you got to be known yeah. as sucking dick mm-hmm. very good. Or just, like, family. you know, so, like, I grew up with parents. They didn't, they didn't, um, they didn't talk to us about sex or anything okay. like that. It was just, like, and they didn't talk about, they didn't talk about masturbation or nothing. It was either. just, like, fucking nothing. Just nothing. don't do anything. Yeah, you're yeah, fucking yeah, yeah. on your own, like, and don't do anything. Yeah. And, like, that's just not how it fucking works. Because, yeah, yeah, yeah. like, teenagers fuck. And, like, especially nowadays, these days, like, a blowjob's a goddamn handshake. Yeah. Seriously. These, like, fucking 14 years old with Snapchat. It's like, oh, it's a I disgusting know. world. Like, Seriously. Like, awesome if you're a teenager right now. Sure, but, yeah, like, because those 12-year-olds, like, yeah, gosh, they I was looking great, at fucking they? pixelated oh titty pics right? on dial-up internet. Now they just have I know, know. Yeah. these fucks. <laughs> yeah. Your downloads are super gonna be yeah. slow. Yeah. They're not even gonna know. And, oh my gosh! And, and like daughter, like, and I didn't, I didn't make the, I didn't make society's rules. But it's like, so you have a daughter. If a fucking twenty-four-year-old male teacher fucks your fifteen-year-old daughter, fucking everybody loses their shit, right? Mm-hmm. But if a twenty-four-year-old female teacher yeah. fucks your fifteen-year-old son. It's like, oh, cool. It's like, hey, married. hey, that's against the law. Marriage. That's against the law. But also like, damn, bro, like, yeah, nice yeah, job, yeah, bro. Yeah. Like, I didn't fucking make. Yeah. So it's just it's just different. You have to like sort of wrap. So you're like, yeah, I got two boys. I'm you like, have two All right, boys. Cool. Yeah. So it's, you don't have to yeah. worry about <laughs> that, that part talk, of it. Yeah. They could be little emo boys like you. And yeah. you'll just have to go through that the, yeah. mm-hmm. for a second. A, yeah. Give them a little Rammstein. Be like, go yeah. to your room. Put yep. on some makeup. Do what you got to oh, do, yeah. buddy. Yeah. Right? Your yeah. dad does back in the day. Don't worry. I've been through this, bro. Yeah. But with girls, it's just, it's never ending. And yeah. like we, even now, I'll have, you know, I'll cry in the back. You know what I mean? Like yeah. we... <laughs> emotion wise like i just don't know Even now how i would deal how i would deal with it or if she was like kind of a fucking bitch i would I, have a problem i don't with it. like i you know i i i would be a good dad to a dog but i just of i don't course. know like i don't care about fashion and makeup and mm-hmm. hair and i'd like hate i actually like kind of hate all of it For like sure. it's against what i ever, exactly like, so i would definitely like lesbian tomboy and she plays Let's hockey do it. like yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, i'm just You'd kidding make her like the coolest <laughs> yeah. chick ever right she'd yeah. be the complete yeah. opposite of yeah. what you hope yeah for. my 17 year old daughter's chewing the bag like shut up pussy yeah, well, you know like, <laughs> <laughs> but hot yeah yes yeah. yeah, still hot mm-hmm. there you go mm-hmm. well obviously now you're gonna have a really good sex talk with your boys yeah because you didn't get it yeah because i know for a fact i grew up with the same parents yeah kind of mm-hmm. and i'm gonna definitely have that sex talk what with do my you kids. think you're like what age what do you think you're well, like gonna, i don't do you so plan? here's like my mom like her fucking plan worked against her because like nobody taught me like i i exactly. didn't know i like i would just masturbate into my mom's like nice washcloths <laughs> sure. and then throw them away yeah. and so she was fucking she's wasting losing. money she's like and i was like hey going? so you gotta teach a boy like hey here's a fucking we're gonna do this like you know in a financially sound way okay here's like here's here's your tissue here's I you know like, like yeah. yeah so it's like it didn't work out for her and stuff you know and oh and my when gosh. you were it didn't work out in ways where she just told you no too and mm-hmm. then did you feel like when you like figured stuff out you were like Whoa. oh man do you want to hear like a super disgusting story yeah <laughs> please <It's> like, <laughs> the first this is uh like I'll, I'll i'll tell you the title of it for like the first time i fucking ejaculated <laughs> In my oh life, my God, yes. So yeah. I didn't. I didn't know. I'm always fascinated with this. I didn't yeah. know anything about anything. Yep. I didn't know anything about anything. And I was like, I was in like sixth or seventh grade, and uh, I was like, came home from school, and I, I took a nap because I had basketball practice at night. Sure. And like during my nap, I was having this like sex fantasy about my friend's mom. <laughs> and I woke up and like my fuck, I didn't know. Like literally, didn't nobody taught me anything. Like my dick was leaking. And I was like, what the what fuck is going on? Is going on? I you thought nothing. Yeah. You had no idea. No, uh-uh. And I was just like, what the fuck is I'm going, going when on? You don't get, no, when you don't yeah. get told anything, <laughs> yeah. you have parents' fucking ideas too. Yeah. No, I was like, I I was no like what the fuck is going on? And so it just kept fucking leaking. So Ooh, I know shit. I, I just oh like stuffing. Gosh. But I had to get ready for basketball practice. Yeah. So I like, I know shit stuffed a fucking fuck ton of toilet paper down my underwear and went to basketball practice. So I'm just running around basketball practice. Thinking your dick's broke. Yeah. Because it's leaking. And you're just like, not yeah. telling guys yeah oh, so i'm just shit. running around with toilet oh, paper stuffed down my, my underwear because i didn't know and then uh, yeah yeah <laughs> <And then, laughs> well, like so the first time i had sex yeah. i didn't know i had sex yeah because though no, no i'm not even kidding i was never told that a penis entering a vagina was sex i never knew that like that was the you know how people had sex all i knew from my neighbor no fucking joke because i was just kept into this bubble was that once you start bleeding down there from a guy doing whatever is when you had sex. Oh, so if you yeah. didn't, ble- 
So if yeah. your hymen wasn't pop and you didn't bleed, so the first time I had sex, like, I didn't think I had sex. Yeah. Because you, so, your hymen didn't break. Yeah, I didn't, like, the guy, whatever we did, whatever act we were doing, like, he didn't break me, so therefore I didn't think that we actually had it. Like, I didn't know he that didn't he break you. He didn't break me. He didn't break my vagina. <laughs> wasn't yeah. sex to me. Like, like, me. Okay, yeah. You call that a fuck? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Hey, bitch. Listen, you didn't even you break that, me. Yeah. Oh, Ooh. right. Okay. Isn't that strange? No, I like, get it. But I'm saying like, so he didn't know either, right? Just so his dad or mom shit. didn't teach him that. And same thing with me. So it was one of those things where you're like, ah, you're looking yeah. at your, you yeah. know, your bits and going, what's going on? And it's, and it's a on? parent's fucking responsibility to like I teach think. these kids about how the world works. Yeah. And, for, and well, like, and if, if you're not comfortable too. with it because your Jesus friend isn't, you know, it's like, hey, you got to teach kids. Hey, bro, somebody's going to be they're comfortable with it. They're still human. Yeah, they're still human. But here's the thing. You, you educating them is not a bad thing. It's a good thing. You have to prevent against diseases and you know babies and everything else like you're doing them a favor by yeah. doing this you're mm-hmm. not saying hey yeah. yeah go have sex but guess what they're going to have it anyway yeah so here's how to do it safely mm-hmm. yeah and talk to me about these yeah. things you know about women's anatomy um i asked this question to to a lot of guys and i get 50 50 responses hmm. <laughs> what <laughs> that guys but girls too don't know that you pee out of a different hole than what sex Really? A lot what of people don't. guys don't know? Like, I, but like, or, guys uh, think that they're fucking your pee hole? No. Like 50 but like, 50. But like, <laughs> yeah, so. Because you don't think about it, right? You yeah. don't like. I know it. I know. Yeah. There's like three. the female urethra is different from the yes. fucking. Yeah, but it's like. And your fuck a lot hole. of people don't know that. But where is it? Because it's under the hood, hole. right? Like, yeah. It's, <laughs> yeah. Just around, like, the, yeah, it's, it's like, around the it's hood. It's super area. fucking. Yeah, but it's super fucking tiny. You can't see it. Like, you know what? I've never actually, like, hey. I want to see your urethra. Like, <laughs> let me fucking yeah. pee let right me, now. Yeah, I yeah see like let me out let me right. figure this shit out, or yeah. just like go in there and try to no. fu- like. I guess a dude. I I've never like gone in there and tried. To, I know you that. You know, there's a difference. I know that. You know that. Yeah. There's a lot of people that don't. Yeah. Is that I know. fucking crazy? Well, no. I have not met a guy yet. For a, I but you like, but yet. you know, it's like it's surprising. I like I used to think that babies were born out of butts. No. For sure, like yeah. if you've never, mm-hmm. you were never you told, they were pooped or you out. Never... Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. Why did you think yeah. that? Just out of curiosity, like I don't just because you thought it, you or like, you, you just, saw it somewhere. You know, I used to think I was Polish too. I don't know. Like <laughs> I used when to you think like, I was Mexican. When I know. you're when you're a fucking <laughs> when you're a kid, you just like believe dumb shit. You're like, <laughs> I think I'm Polish. Is like yeah. you know, it's actually I don't know, I feel it was Polish. it was for uh, a second grade school project thing. We had to like write about our heritage and do a presentation. Yeah, and I did all this Polish stuff. And you thought you were when I was done with it. My parents were like. What the fuck is this? I I'm was Polish. like, well, we're Polish. And like, no, we just have Polish friends. I'm like, oh, well, what are we? <laughs> <laughs> this yeah, doesn't make so sense. Like, thought babies came out of butts. Well, you at, least you, at least you thought they came out of butts because I thought literally the stork brought them by. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like my parents told me like, oh, yeah, there's actually yeah. a big ass bird yeah. that has them in a little handkerchief in oh, its no. mouth and just drops it off. Mm. And I was like, oh, that totally makes sense oh, no. as a child, you know, but at least so at least you made sure they're out of butts. That makes more yeah. sense. You know, (laughs) know. can you imagine? So, okay. uh, I really do like your cooking. I do too. with Derek that you do. I like the videos you do with Owen. Owen's seems legit. Oh yeah. We were were talking with him. Mm -hmm. Do you like, do you like love cooking? Do you like cooking shows or chefs or anything or what is... (sighs) Or so, do you just cook what you want? I cook? started I started doing like that 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 video, that whole fucking series. Yeah. Like so I have a private Facebook group where I like help people with their fitness yes. and stuff like that. And so like sometimes I do uh, workout tutorials, sometimes yeah. I do supplement fucking inform information videos. And I was like trying to talk to people about nutrition. I was like it's hard to help these people. They don't even know how to cook. Mm-hmm. That's uh, true. Like so many dudes, yeah. like grown ass men, don't even know how to cut an onion. That's it's wild. True. That's okay. wild. You know? Yeah, yeah, but So yeah. I was like, so, so like we started the doing the cooking videos to like teach people how to fucking cook. And I'm like, Jesus. But in, you know, in, in, in 2020, it's funny, like in fitness, we're all so busy and things like that. People, um, so many people think that cooking isn't a good use of time. But it's like literally oh. what sustains our existence. Correct. Yes. <laughs> and so like there's, it's, it's like we should turn our phones off and cook our food. We're like, yes, you know, yeah. and, and like so many people are like, oh, Derek, I just like, it's just more convenient and easy for me to go get fast food. I'm like, yeah, 
but that's a fucking horrible option. You should yeah. have a better relationship with food. You should know yeah. how to cook food. So that was kind of like my, I, I started doing those videos to post in my private Facebook group to Just like teach people how to yeah, cook, yeah. you know? And, um, and I was of course like, you put your own flair on it. Yeah. And we did it. I was like, love. Hey, you know what? This is actually like pretty funny. Yeah. Let's, let's put yeah, it on yeah. the internet, internet, you know? Yeah. So we did that for a while, but like, I haven't, I haven't done one in a few months. Like I go through phases. I was like, mm-hmm. yeah, that was fun. I'm yeah. Done. You do I'm like done. art, yeah. music, <laughs> yeah. cooking. Like I'm done with that. No, yeah, it was fun. Yeah. <laughs> You're a little emo, yeah. huh? I love yeah. it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm in my I art phase. Yeah. 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 It's really good, actually. Yeah. Oh, just, I know. I've seen you. Do you still right put on in. t-shirts, too? Yeah, no? I do. Yeah, I, I dabble. I do what I do when oh I do. Oh, my gosh. And that's what yeah. I do. Yeah. Dabble. Yeah. I like the, I'm a dabbler. a dabbler. I'm a dabbler. But you're yeah. good at your dabbling. So you're like the kind of jack of all trades. Well, he gets you're great into at all it for a certain amount of time, right? It's almost pathetic. Then you go back to it again, don't you? Yeah. Because I do that sometimes with things, too. Joe Rogan does this. He'll like get on something and just like go on it for no, I, for, a little so, bit you know, i'm kind of similar I've, I've talked with ross about this before like for me like the the fucking like art music life i could totally do that but i just you know like it's very like um i'm like i'm a i'm a depressed artist yeah, and, yeah. Okay. And, and like it's totally like so i can either do like when i do fitness and when i do art stuff it's different things so like it's like fitness yeah. is just a healthier want to kill myself less type of yeah. Derek than, but I, I love doing art. I love doing music and I love drinking and painting and stuff like that, but it's just not healthy. I love it. It's fun. Yeah. It's though. so fun. Yeah. It kind of yeah. seems like, well, I don't, I mean, I'm just meeting you, but like, it seems like you try and do everything for either depression or feeling down besides like taking medication or doing right. Or do you? Mm-hmm. You don't have to tell me that. I, uh, it kind of looks, it kind of <laughs> seems to me like you are, which is what I try and do is just sort of distract myself from any like depression or feeling down by like doing these other things for me. It's cooking, working out. I know if I work out, I feel better. I know it. Yeah. Right. I mean, I mm-hmm. like having distractions yeah. too. Yeah. From certain yeah, things. Like, oh man, I, you know, I, 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 I've come so far, like, so I think, um, come so far like 10 years ago you know like i I was on antidepressants for like two years and i did like regular fucking therapy and i did inpatient programs yeah and i've been in several psych wards and things like that and so i think i think now i'm able to do what i can do on my own Mm -hmm. but because i have that fucking training and i have that knowledge you know yeah yeah, yeah. like so when i get sad and depressed now like i know my triggers and i have my coping mechanisms but i only know i'm only able to live with the level of control I have now because yeah. I did all that training. Like you have to, yes, like yeah. you have, have to do to, that at yeah. some point. No, I was, you know? I, I was on antidepressants as well mm-hmm. for a little bit too and therapy and stuff too. But it just, I found same thing. Yeah. It helped me to know that I didn't need to do that. Right. But I needed to go down that road to know that I didn't. Yeah. Right. So, so now even sometimes it's like, oh shit, I'm feeling overwhelmed. I'm feeling overwhelmed. Yeah. Wait, wait, Derek. I know. I know how to handle this yeah. situation, yeah. you yes. know, and then I fucking handle it. So. Yeah. But so it's that's because what I, I have, of yeah. Like too, that mm-hmm. you'll put it out there on Instagram, and then you'll also be like, "This is what I need to do. So yeah. This is what I'm fucking doing. Like I'm getting up and like, or I'm painting, or I'm whatever." Yeah. Um, I'll start baking bread. That's yeah. my Will thing. you? That's your thing. Yeah, I get Dude, into bread. Sometimes <laughs> doing <laughs> doing the dishes is Dude, the best antidepressant is, you can have. On, it's like if you're fucking doing if you're overwhelmed, like turn your phone off. Yes. Yeah. That's what I always put, do. Put, put put Phantom of the Opera on. That's my go-to. Is or it? like the La La Land soundtrack? You know? Oh my gosh! <laughs> what? <laughs> yes. Oh my gosh! You're and then, and then, and then, and then do the dishes. <laughs> and then do the dishes. Do the shut the fuck up and do your dishes. Cleaning too. Like if I just blast music and start cleaning and black out the fucking world. World, I'm feeling yeah. better. The big thing is, you just said, put that phone down. Yeah, that seems to be where a lot of issues sometimes just keep arising or just get mm-hmm. worse. Yeah, you know, like it's funny. I, and I was actually like just talking to Ross the other day. Like the last three weeks, I really haven't done much. Like I do all my business on the internet and stuff, you know. Yeah, and, yeah, I, yeah. and I really haven't done anything uh-huh. for the last like three weeks because I just been sort of like in my yeah, you'll zone. Post, like like a funny I'm training, <laughs> and then yeah. like Stacy's been in Brazil, so I've had the boys yeah, quite yeah, a lot. Yeah. I'm just like li- living my life in my life. Yeah, isn't that and, crazy? And, and, and how's but, that feel? Like, but, it, it, but, but, but like but some people would call me like lazy and unambitious and things like that like why isn't Derek handling his business it's like actually no I'm doing exactly what I want to do with yeah. my time yeah and I'm very happy and just the thought of kind of doing that stuff right now is making me upset so yeah it, yeah it's just a weird thing like yeah isn't that crazy that you can actually live your life and have a day and other people don't need to know about it yeah I know. Is that fucking yeah crazy? oh my I know, god I, like, did, I did go to the gym today yeah but did not post the selfie why didn't you tell me <laughs> 
I you, you didn't know tell me you I went. I think about that it sometimes. So it's like I use the internet to pay my fucking rent. Sure. But I I yeah. don't use the internet like but other people just use the internet and they kind of like making the same posts that I do but mm-hmm. they're not paying their rent with it. I'm like right. what are you doing? Why? Like, what is this? Yeah, that's a lot of energy. What is this? And time. You know, it's like what you don't you like feeding? this doesn't even pay your rent. You yeah. What's your end like, game here, buddy? Yeah. Like just like the <laughs> like, attention? Like what's yeah. the point of this? And then you don't even know what they do for work. It's like, wait, you're a fucking like orthodontist, that's how you buy your cocaine? Like <laughs> 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 you, know? Dude, you can Boring. buy a lot of cocaine mm-hmm. on orthodontic. Oh, oh yeah. sure, or dentist. Dude, they're fucking just pimping out everyone's yeah. braces nowadays. Oh, my dentist is cold. with everything yeah. out. Yeah, it's just um, a, it's just a weird. I sometimes, but you know, you know. Oh my god! But here's where I'm pathetic. It's like I haven't been personally posting on the internet and stuff. Mm-hmm. Can't look away. I still like oh, look dude, at everybody's shit. I'm dude. like, what is wrong yeah. with you, dude? Like, We're you're weird. fucking. Well, it's just yeah, you're how fucking weird. We are nowadays. I know. That's just we always want to look and just see what's going <laughs> yeah. on. It's so bad. What like, is, you need a break. What a time but you're to be look. alive. You know? What a time. Because like we're like you know, um, one of the best things I've ever like like you know, um, you're a smart person when you know you're not in control of yourself. Mm. Yeah. And like, but when like everything that's coming at us yeah. is trying to take control of who we are and how we think and things like that, I'm like, oh, f- like, well, what's going on? What's going on? I don't know. Life is weird. It's messy. Well, it is. We should all just be Bert Coons. <laughs> <laughs> Basically. And walk off. Essentially. Mm-hmm. I love how this whole conversation went. Start off with like farts and then uh-huh. like serious stuff. Like you're yep. so inspirational. But that's Derek. And then, where's the first. female urethra? Yeah. yeah. Right. And like babies right come out of buttholes. Yeah, you right. don't pee and everything else. out of you. Yeah. What? <laughs> Of your vagina? Yeah. <laughs> Can a dick fit in a urethra? Oh, I've seen. There is porn. Like I, that. I'm sure I there's think porn. I've accidentally there's fucking gone like there. That. Yeah. Like, because like I've g- I've gone into. wrong hole, not wrong hole. There's like yeah. that's yeah. not yeah. the typical wrong hole. Like yes. I think and we realized always- the other day there's porn for anything, any flavor out there. Yeah, and I think I thought of that same thing and like typed it in. It was yeah. like, oh my god, you can, can you fuck can. this? <laughs> have you, you can? God. Have you ever seen? Lady is exactly on, how you're picturing. Yeah, 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 right now, yeah, Just like uh, huge. Uh, d- yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> huge, just massive, <laughs> massive. Yeah. Everyone's gonna start googling that now. The yeah, first episode, everyone start to look up prolapsed anuses. Have you looked at prolapse? No, but I've seen Born. um. They're not pretty. No. No. Yeah. And that pearl, no. <laughs> little deep I fried mean, donut, you know? Yeah. <laughs> oh, cool. oh, when just like little, just like grandpa used to make when they come oh, out a little yummy. they come out a little clumpy, listen, you know? Yeah. But, yeah. <laughs> Fuck you. I fucking love donuts and you just ruined it no, for it's me. The, it's the old fashioned deep fried no, donut. Stop you know? it. Just, stop. <laughs> I love donuts. This is terrible. I can't well, this is what I'm think about so it. So I personally am so happy that we actually met. I know. Mm-hmm. Now we can like hang out. I just like that you are basically just you and you will be emo with us and yeah. you will talk about farts yeah and you will be manly and you will <laughs> cry yeah, that's pretty, and yeah, that's uh like... i don't know i just like you i think you're awesome and uh Ditto. you're always really great on the podcast no i, think I appreciate you're doing, you coming are you on the guys podcast now i think no. so there's a lot of dudes in this and room I, think a, I have seen this now video get, before really and excited, i though. can't wait this brings you back <laughs> yeah. to the army days with yeah. all the men yeah, yeah. Like, yes. yeah. so we nominate we usually uh nominate drinking broette yeah kind of like the same as the guys do you have a woman in your life whether it's mom girl friend sister anything that you want to nominate for drinking bro i think women get enough credit <laughs> so un- undeser- undeservedly in 2020 Fuck. like i do That's not i just don't about. want to recognize mm. a woman for no, anything right. anymore mm. i think we're good like, right <laughs> don't so you think <laughs> I just, no. what about should we make it the one the one that didn't make it the, the triplet oh, that didn't make yeah, it. Oh, yeah, let's make it the one who your son's ate. Oh, ate. Brenna. Is that who it was going to be? Brenna? Oh, this just got sad. Is that name? It's like, oh, shit. Oh. Yeah. Here's, here's to the one that didn't catch. Oh, Brenna. Yeah. <laughs> so fucked up. <laughs> Holy shit, yeah. So- here's to the one that didn't make, make it. it. My unborn daughter. Oh, my God. You're the you drinking bro of don't the make week. Them think that I yeah. was a fucking asshole. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's all right. right. Yeah. All right, let's make a real one now so that I'm not Okay, the bitch. I got we got one. Yeah, you guys go I got for one it. from yeah. the Broat community. So, Perfect. from the Drinking Broat community, um Jenna Sung. People oh, have yes. literally sung her Drinking praises. Bros nerds. Okay, um she's Jenna been Sung? Mm-hmm. Jenna Sung. Yeah, do you have you heard of her? her? She's like the admin Is she for white Drinking or Bros. Asian nerds. or half? Cuz it's like it's oh, a white girl um, first name and a Asian girl last name. No, yeah, she looks like she's white. 
Pretty sure. No, she's Asian, but Is I don't she? know if she's like. Oh, okay. Mixed. <laughs> well, I guess we'll find out. But, White dad, uh, Japanese but, father. Uh, yeah, no, but uh, so basically, <laughs> a lot of people from the drinking Barat community have came in and said Jenna is one of the most amazing people in the Barat community. She's one of the first friends that they've had. She's super, she's super, nice. super kind. She always goes out of her way to make sure that people are feeling comfortable. She fiercely supports the community and all its members, and she's in the nerds one. So yeah, and she's admin. Um, I think she. Yep, she's an admin, and she's constantly seeing people, um, her just make people feel heard and respected. So this goes out to Jenna for being awesome in the community. They, We love you and appreciate you. You fucking rock. And, cheers, uh, Jenna. Cheers, cheers, Jenna. And here's one to Brenna. Oh, my there God, go. stop Oh, it. my God. <laughs> Jesse, you are an asshole. <laughs> it's Derek. Come on. <laughs> I know. Derek. I thought it was funny. It. I know. I, know, I, I know, said I know, it. Funny. That's the first thing we said to each other. You're like, I don't know. I just don't feel like women should like, I don't know, have any oh rights or God. anything. And I was like, yeah. you and me are going to be friends. I read about something, that, you know, like we all know, like uh, the women's rights movements was in like the early 1900s, but the Sanaka trials or the Sanaka papers in the late 1850s that started women's rights in America. I'd like I was like, man, that's just when it all started going down. Oh, that was the God. real culprit, right? <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah. That was no, it. No, fuck you both. This is done. That's just this like, podcast. People think society started going wrong We're last year. Mm-hmm. Like, no, 1858. <laughs> you know oh, my God. We can, no, <laughs> yeah. I did not say. No, no, you will not agree <laughs> <Yeah>. with that. <laughs> oh, boy. Just kidding. <laughs> but not really. No. Yeah. Derek, thanks so much for being no, on. No, I appreciate it. It's it was, fucking it was I think people know you. where to find yeah. you, but mostly yeah. Instagram or? Yeah, just Derek. It's Derek every, White anywhere I am, shits? Derek White. I like Instagram, cool. Facebook, website, Pornhub. There we go. Yep. I uh, d- look I'm start, up, I'm gonna, Yeah, no, sorry. It's, what are you starting to do? No, my, porn? my Pornhub's just like nasty solo shit, so I wouldn't even look at it, you know, but. Oh, <laughs> excuse me. <laughs> what? I'm just hey, kidding. Hey, if you could think of it, somebody's into it's it. It's him filling his, you know, basketball pants with a bunch of. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's yeah. just me playing basketball <laughs> right? with tissue in my underwear. Tissue in your underwear. Uh, That's all it is. Yeah. Okay. Going back to that. No. Well, yeah. thanks again. Uh, we appreciate really, having you on. Yeah, yeah. You're going to really spike our numbers, and I'm really yeah, happy perfect. about that. Mainly so. just because you're good Thank looking, you. and now they're all going to look uh, up your porn. Yeah. And no, now we so. know there's more to you. Yeah. Yeah. All, all right. right. So no, thanks, buddy. <laughs> you're awesome. Yeah, We're out. Yeah, Bye. Cheers. Yeah, you've been watching every move and plotting your next move on every girl.